so Chelsea 2, Asna 2. I don't know how we got out of Stamford Bridge with a Desmond. Absolute theft and robbery. There's a couple of missing people. Um, petitions out there. Search parties looking for Odegaard, Jesus, Saka, and all of that lot. Mikhailu Mudrik, of course, he scored against us. But, Lewis, you're at the game. You've left. Um, make sure you sub to Lewis's channel, link in the title, people. 2-0 um, up. And played us off the park, let's be real, for 75 minutes, man, under the lights in the rain and ended up with a 2-2. How are you feeling, mate? Bro, I, I feel about as annoyed as you do right now because we had that game in the palm of our hands for about 75 minutes. We just threw it away. Two stupid mistakes. And I guess that's the difference when you're playing a team at the top of the table because you guys didn't play well. But I keep saying that you lot are resilient. You guys never really die and like we had opportunities to kill you off. I get that, but I feel like that's always going to happen in football. There's always going to be chances that go by, some you end up scoring. The fact of the matter is we should have seen that game out. We should have played slower football. And instead, Sanchez gives away some hospital pass to Gallagher and then also just build momentum and get a second goal. Gusto falls asleep at the back post. And yeah, we played good football. Like, I should be here gassed. I should be here talking about how we rose above against a team that's much better than us, in a much better position than us, and how resilient we were. Instead, it's the same old complacent bottle job mentality. I'm not happy with that game. I know coming out of that game, depending on the way we played, I might have taken a draw, but not when you're 2-0 up with 15 minutes left. You need to be seeing that out. You can't play brilliantly for 75 minutes and then just completely ignore the last 15. We, we threw the game away. We threw two points away. We've thrown away enough points at the start of the season that we can't be affording to do it in games like this, even if it is against Arsenal. It's just pathetic. It's pathetic. The only positive from this game is I'm a little bit more confident for the games coming up. But in terms of this one game, we've bottled it. It's as simple as that. We've thrown this away. Mate, listen, listen. All the way through my watch along, yeah? Right? And big up Kenny as well. Kenny was at the game. He texted at half time and he said that first half was a disgrace. And it was a disgrace. And you should have been out of sight. Right? We didn't hook off Sinchenko at half time. Yeah, I don't know what that guy was doing on the right wing getting booked. Yeah, but this is why I don't ever want to see him play for this club again. He is a shambles. The goalkeeper today, yeah. Okay, people are gonna look at the Mudrick goal, yeah, and say, Oh, it's his fault. It weren't that was a cross. His eyes were looking at a cross, he shanked it and it went in. Fair play to him, he scored. Cool. Had to be him. But, bro, that game, if you had a bit more composure in the final third, yeah, that game would have been 3 or 4-0 before the goalkeeper even gives Declan Rice a goal. Yeah, and then as soon as we yeah. equalise, great finish from Trossard, by the way, right? But as soon as we equalise, we see what I said in the week. Yeah, hit Chelsea, they're weak. Get at them early. They'll fold. They'll be looking around like strangers at each other. Who's going to step up? You're rolling around, feigning injuries, wasting time. We should have started that game how we finished that game. Yeah, because you lot, you lot, fair play to you. I'll give you a lot of credit today, yeah, because I didn't expect that level of performance from you, yeah, from your team. But I didn't expect my team to walk out and do that today. That was a disgrace. That was prime Arteta ball. 2020 when we're getting panned by Burnley, Wolves, Leicester, Villa, yeah, Olympiacos, all of this lot, yeah. But you didn't take advantage of it. We're still unbeaten, and yeah, cool. But we can't continue like that. And the one thing I'd say, yeah, for you looking as an outsider at Chelsea, yeah, your midfield absolutely dominated us today. Yeah, absolutely walked for us. Connor Gallagher shows Martin Odegaard how to turn up in a big game today. Yeah, I can't believe I'm even agreeing with that as well. It was insane. And I should be here talking about the positives. Like, Gusto, unbelievable. Kukurella had Saka in his pocket. I don't know how Saka won man of the match. That's insane. Did he get man he of the match? match? He got man of the match. He was in Kukurella's back pocket the entire game. Wow. I, I don't know if he got an assist or something, but he, he got should never have touched match. that. Yeah, I got a Premier League notification after the game. Bukayo Saka has been named your man of the match. I was like, what? For I didn't what? see him do nothing. Man of the Cucurella match. Cole had him Palmer. on the ropes. Cole Palmer, Enzo, Conor Gallagher. You could even maybe say Sterling, Mudrick. Yeah. I thought they actually. Yeah, you guys it. weren't great. I don't know. I understand your frustration. Because for the first 10, 15 minutes, it felt like 
both teams were a little bit shook. Like, we were yeah, a bit slow on the ball. Yeah. yeah. And I could get that from Chelsea, because like, we're not the favourites going into this game. we still got a bit of an experience about us. Also, I expected you guys to come in, dominate, try and make chances early. You guys just seemed a little bit clueless in the final third. I don't know if it was the way we set up or not, but I get oh, you guys' your frustration. Pressing, your pressing in that first 20 minutes was a joke, honestly. Yeah, you, I, Saliba, I rate Saliba highly, yeah? Bro, that was definitely a penalty. Yeah, we all knew it was going to get given. It was just a matter of time for the ball to go out of play and he was going to run off and give it, right? And his arm was up here, stupid. But do you know what's crazy, yeah? Is Mudrick, that was probably going out for a throw-in, that header. If it was on target, it's never a penalty. So again, kind of lucky. Yeah, the goal that he scored, he was crossing it. It went in kind of luck. But listen, you have to take your luck sometimes. And you lot ain't had much luck in the last 12 months. Exactly, months. yeah. <laughs> so I kind of get it. But then I'm looking at, I'm thinking, where do we go from here? Yeah, and do you know what? Yeah, Goonie's fuming. He just did a fan cam and he said, he said up, Pochettino's Goonie. arrogance to take off and make them subs that early in a game, yeah, to think, that's it, job done. Has he not watched Arsenal? Arsenal go to the last second, yeah? And he was like, he made them subs. I, I couldn't believe it on my watch long, bro. You took off Sterling. I thought he was playing half decent. He was always a threat. Yeah, it weren't real creativity or brilliant, but he's always a problem. Mudrick, I thought, played all right. Yeah, and you sub them off. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, fair enough. 60, 65 minutes, whatever it was. I thought that was a bit too early. Yeah, if you had left that another 10 minutes, maybe Sanchez don't do the mistake. Yeah, different game. I thought Thiago Silva at the back today. Yeah, absolute rock for you. Very good. I thought Cole will. Yeah, as much as I've said he's like mad overrated, I thought he played really well today. Should have scored as well. You can say that for so many players as well, which is why it's just so demoralising coming out of this game, knowing that. But... I didn't really have too much energy for Poch. I didn't think the Jackson sub was smart. The guy's clearly not fit, otherwise you wouldn't have started him. He didn't look fit coming on, didn't really do anything. But I look at the way the game panned out and like it's individual errors from players. And like regardless of the substitutions, it di I don't think it impacted us that much. Like This game was in the palm of our hands until Sanchez made that stupid pass. That's just yeah. it, really. Now, we can talk about the substitutions. Maybe they weren't the best move, but they weren't the domino effect. The domino effect comes from Robert Sanchez and that stupid pass because Arsenal instantly get momentum from that and then they get a second one. We've had this habit of being complacent throughout um, at points of a full 90. Sometimes we start poorly and we, and we get better. Sometimes we start well and then we just completely fall off. But we never have a consistent 90 minutes and that's just reared its head again. Like, maybe you could look at Poch, maybe, but to me, it's more the players. We had the chances. Colwell puts one over the par. The bar. Palmer's a bit unlucky with his shot in the first half. Jackson, like, just take a... You don't just need to take it. a touch and just overthink. Literally, just dink the ball. And if it goes wide, whatever, I don't care. But at least you took an instant shot. It's did the you, players. Did you think as well, like, obviously, obviously, I know you're at the game. What was the, what was the mood like there? Because, obviously, you're in, in with the home fans, yeah? Right, and obviously you're extremely upset. Goonie's extremely upset because you, we, if you do player ratings, you're going to rate your players pretty well because they played really well. But ultimately, yeah. the end result wasn't the result that the player ratings are going to suggest. Yeah, what was the mm -hmm. mood like in the stadium? Because, like you said, you've not had a consistent ninety minutes. Yeah, it's either one half or one half, or it's twenty minutes here and you've blitzed Burnley. Yeah, but you've not had your full starting eleven. You've got a load of injuries. Was the mood, okay, cool, well, they're a good team, they're in a title race, we'll take it, we would have took a draw before kickoff, or was it, like you're saying, actually, no, this is a joke, yeah, we bottled that. The ground was booming, to be honest, like, I didn't really hear the Arsenal fans until the first goal went in, and then obviously the momentum kept building, but after the second goal, just dead. Just dead. Everyone's. Con I thought you lot were going to score again after that point. It looked like it was going in that direction. I did as well. Are, I was there... praying high habits to score the winner, even though I can't stand it. Bro, <laughs> I was going to delete my entire social media account if that happened. I was like, this guy's come on and scored, and they've scored twice. It's literally the writing on the on the wall. But there's just there's a bit of copium now. It's a little bit of copium. Like, oh, at least we got a point. We didn't expect to get anything from this game anyway. I don't care. Like, 15 minutes left, you're two nil up. 
yeah, you, you should be playing win. a lot better and getting the result. We we can't be pretending like it's a good game. Celebrate! Don't celebrate a draw, but like you can look at positives. If we were losing and we pulled it back, that shows a little bit of resiliency. Fair enough. You're two goals up and you are dominating. We can talk about the luck of the goals. Fair enough, but like we were in control after that point. Should have been all Chelsea. Should have been seventy minutes, mate. Yep, seventy minutes, and we fuck. Sorry, bro. Go, we messed no, it up. Don't worry, it. don't worry. Listen, I make him right. Yeah, seventy minutes. Yeah, it's 75 minutes until we scored the first. But this is what I said to you in the preview earlier in the week. Yeah, like, if we score early, you lot fold. Yeah? And look at the way you folded when Declan Rice scored that goal from the mistake. Yep. You lot were shook, bro. Yeah? And I thought we were going to nick a winner. Yeah? Because I was like, it, this Same. is going to be Canu all over again. Yeah? Or Nigel Winterburn. Oh, or bro. Or whatever. Yeah, right, three, two. I forgot about the Canu one. Jeez. Yeah. But I was like, this is going to be all over again. But that is why I'm so upset. You're upset that you got a draw from a 2 0 up. I'm fuming at that performance as well, even though we've nicked a draw. Yeah, and we're still unbeaten. It's like both of us, and that tells you the game right there. You're upset that you were leading that game comfortable, should have been four or five nil up. Let's just not take the mick here. You should have been mm. four or five. With the chances you created, we had three shots on target, two were goals. And one was Eddie's pot shot, yeah, right near the end. That's it. That's all we did. You keep never had to make a save apart from Eddie. He never it. had to make a save, and then still, still conceded two and made two stupid mistakes. That's why you can only look at it from individuals. Like I understand the potch conversation, but like I'm the first one to go on him if he makes any mistakes. He, he, I don't think he he was the cause for this. This is just stupid mentality and decision-making and complacency, and I've seen it enough times this season. We just need to handle the, res the next few games better because this could cause a spiral. Because yeah, you could say fight. it's a good result. Like I, I know I've been talking about how good performance might give us more confidence, but when you have a good performance and you're still not rewarded, I feel like you run the risk of potentially going backwards with that too. Now this Brentford game just got even more important. Absolutely. So, I, I don't Listen, know, man. but dead. Listen, it is what it is, isn't it? I appreciate you coming on as well, man. I know it's late. I know it's been soaking wet in London as well, bro. Hopefully, Dreadful, man. Hopefully, you're you're not soaking wet, cold like a drowned rat. Yeah, but listen, get home safely, man. Always love. The link will be in the title. Yeah, and hit me up anytime, man. Always appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you, man. Bless. Love.